Yo, what is up everybody? It's Peace Welcome to another video. We got fan favorite Jesse back on the channel. Alright. Oh, you want to do What do you got for us, young man? It's Drytron. Alright, I love Drytron so much. We're still in the middle of locals on X1. But the list is so good, I'm probably going to get first place anyway. But okay, that's that's broken. All right, so main egg, obviously. Three alpha. Uh, we love him. Three new two, because new two is just that much better than Zeta, that this is going to be announced in the lineup. And yeah. shut up, Patrick. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is the best card we've had in years. Then three Zeta. <laughs> I'm on two Gamma. Two Altaeus. Uh, and then one Ursatron Alpha. Oh, you're doing big combos. I can't wait to see your extra deck. It's pretty standard. I'm going to be completely honest. There's a, what's pretty popular right now is the uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yes. Search. I think it's a little overkill uh, and a little hard to deck build around. So I'm not interested in that. Oh, okay. Interesting. For now. Uh, here is the Diviner and the Ruler. So those are my two. That is a boss monster fairies. right there, buddy. It sure is. I'm making it against you, Bell. I usually scoop. Um, <laughs> DA Dragonids, regular Dragonids. Three Benton, she's beautiful, and she brought a uh, lady yes! friend, Natasha. Main tank, we couldn't Natasha. fit her in the side deck. Haven't had to make her in quite some time, but when she comes out, oh my goodness, their boards are gone. Uh, then onto the spells. Three Nova, this is now a one card starter. Emergency, because uh, it's an emergency. Yes. That Snake Eyes is still playable. Uh, <laughs> one Meteonis, the ritual spell, two Fafnir, because this is uh, just another way to see the Nova. Otherwise, yeah. it's good to have the Drytron card online for your follow up with new two. And if yeah. you were playing the AFD build, it's also a good idea to have more field spells. Yes, exactly. Uh, the one Foolish Burial. Yes. The one called by uh, two tactics. Yes. I cut down on the ash in the main because hand traps are just not it. Um, because you're playing yeah. such a low count of hand traps, one is not gonna, exactly. One you is not going to cut break. it, and you don't want to play into talents. So uh, oh, okay, droplet is your board breaker droplet. with your talents, and uh, imperm. and imperm. I like that. That's a good sixth card. Um, is this forty in the main? This is forty one. Forty one. Why second don't you? Uh, what, what? Why is there no one for one in this? Um, I don't like. That card, for one, as hand advantage, if they ash it, it's rough, too. Um, your hands don't always have monsters in them. Sometimes it's like one name plus a bunch of spells, and I just don't like the I don't like the feel of it. Well, either way, you're screwed. One for one can literally unbrick your hand. It's a one card. Well, I don't play it, and I'm winning. I don't know what you're All right, all right. How's your, how's your tier limit sprite invoked cypher? <laughs> it's on, uh, doing amazing. On the extra deck. Um, <laughs> two Mubeta, obviously. Yeah. This guy's been great today. The Kaki Nagashi Fuko. I uh, did not have to make it today. Downer Magician and Zeus, because this is a Zeus Turbo deck at the yes, end. Yes, the sir. Then on to the Synchros and Fusions. We'll do them at the same time. Diviner. It's a, or is a Diviner target, so Herald of the Arclight, and then uh, Don Dragster instead of the uh, Ancient Fairy. Uh, Entis, of and course. then onto the Lynx. All right. It's going to be Relinquished Anima, Ivy Mascarena, SP Little Knight, one Dynamondo, one Unicorn, because I am playing an Axis Code to complement oh. it. Uh, there's, I honestly like Phoenix as well as not needing this, because honestly... I love Underworld Goddess in this deck. Yes, Just that's broken. Spitting her out as fast as we possibly can is pretty good. Uh, but that is the Link package. Um, and I like this better over the AFD build. Just like I said, uh, one less brick. The side deck is, despite how I feel about hand traps, Droll actually was insane today against um, a Snake Eye player. They yeah. were playing the Castira engine and them going to the <laughs> yes. played so horribly into this. So yes. it was like, this won't kill them not this alone however if you have a very good uh engine hand to crack through what they have is now essentially a crippled board or even another hand trap like an emperor this is still gonna go pretty hard absolutely um uh, so on a cyclone i'm on cyclone because uh and i honestly did not like the way it's been performing today mainly because i haven't seen it but in theory some of the matches i've been playing today there have been a lot of floodgates um i almost want to wipe as many back row as possible. Okay. But I don't like when they turn on floodgates in the in the middle, as well as like uh, uh, Flambert scaling and stuff. I mean, in theory, if you can just rip the one lightning storm, that's fine too. But yeah, uh, this just feels so flexible being on quick effect and then banishing and just getting rid of yes, the problem. Yes, permanently sure. getting rid of it. But there is one more card. Uh, we'll just talk about it now. The reason why I'm, I'm comfortable playing this instead of blowout for back row is because I'm also <laughs> playing 
than go yes. seco. Um, if I'm feeling it's going to be a little bit more back row heavy, or especially Labyrinth, this will cook it. Yes, um, absolutely. Coolest, one of the coolest cards in the game. I'm on the one, uh, Lance, we'll just do these, uh, Magic Key Unlocking and the Beto's Buster, obviously. Okay, when do you bring that in? Uh, obviously, go and get first. Okay. Uh, so uh, this especially cooks any deck that wants to have a specific attribute. So against Snake Eye, just yes. Call Divine Beast, and they're, yeah, they're not They're playing. screwed. And then uh, three Lava Golem. This, wow. I, I just didn't get to see it all day, but it, it's this, this is going to perform. This is I'm playing now over Nibiru, like I said. Um, because of the low hand trap count, you don't want to have to pair stuff. Well, just open this on your, your turn and you're good. You bell boards usually have like four monsters, right? What, have you considered Ross Fear Mode instead? I have considered it. Um, still not a fan of the requirement because I wanted something that hits a variety of matchups, and U Bell is one of the few boards I know right now that consistently puts over two monsters. Okay. Uh, or at least two things that feel worth getting rid of, and the right. other things I could just play through naturally. Um, this just feels better. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your insight on the Drytron strategy. Subscribe for more.